Ever wonder what thunderstorms and baking may have in common? Well, it might be more similar than you may think. Just like cakes, each thunderstorm is unique. Sprinkle in some hail and mix in a downburst and you have a cake to watch for. There are recipes for baking cakes with certain ingredients to your taste. Thunderstorms also have ingredients that help make them what they are. They need moisture, instability, and a trigger. There are different moisture sources across North America the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and of course, the Great Lakes. What's a thunderstorm without rain? In baking, that's similar to your cake being too dry. Ensure that you are using the correct amount of wet ingredients in your batter to result in a moist cake. When baking, none of the ingredients matter if there's no oven. That's where the magic happens. Oh, and can we take a minute to take in how delicious the air smells when a cake is baking in the oven? For storms, the oven is the atmosphere, such as differential heating, frontal boundaries, upslope flow, and low pressure systems serve as lifting mechanisms which aid in thunderstorm development. Now, there's one more ingredient necessary to make a thunderstorm across, give the severe threshold, giving it that extra punch, wind shear. That's the difference in wind speeds at different heights within the atmosphere. When wind shear is present, it can induce rotation within thunderstorms, potentially leading to tornadoes. Now, there are no tornadoes in baking, but the method of combining ingredients is similar to the way tornadoes form. Whether you are creaming, folding, sifting, or macronaging, if these basic techniques are not followed, your dessert may not turn out how you would have hoped. Now excuse me while I cut myself a slice of this delicious cake and watch the storm pass. Enjoy.